Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Goodbye from Lonely by Superfruit. We're in standard tuning. We have a capo on our first fret. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you the chorus and the verse. So we're going to start out with the verse, and it's all bar chords. So we're going to bar our third fret with our index finger from the fifth string down. And with our ring finger, we're going to bar the fifth fret relative to the capo with our ring finger from the fourth string down to give us a C chord. play the A, G, and the B strings. So we're going to hold that for a whole bar. So it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we're going to switch up to our E minor chord here. So you're going to bar the 8th fret, well actually the 7th fret relative to the capo, but the 8th fret of the guitar, with your index finger from the 5th string down. And you're going to have your middle finger on the 8th fret of the B, ring finger on the 9th fret of the D, pinky on the 9th fret of the G, and we're going to hold that for two beats. So all together we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Next we're going to switch to a D bar chord relative to the capo, so you're going to bar the 5th fret from the capo with your index finger, 5th string down, and your ring finger is going to bar the 7th fret from the 4th string down. And you're going to again pluck the A, G, and B strings. Okay, so all together that sounds like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and then the last chord is a B minor. And that's played on the 4th beat of that 2nd bar. So you're going to have your index finger barring the 2nd fret. 5th string down, middle finger is going to be on the 3rd fret of the B string, ring finger on the 4th fret of the D, pinky right under on the 4th fret of the G, and you're going to play again the A, G, and the B string. Okay, so that's the verse. I'm going to play through it twice for you here. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, C, 2, 3, E minor, 2, D, B minor, C, 2, 3, 4, <clears throat> and that's how the verse sounds for this song. So next I'm going to teach you the chorus here. We have a G chord, so you're going to have your middle finger on the 3rd fret of the low E, index on the 2nd fret of the A, and you can put your ring finger on the 3rd fret of the high E or the 3rd fret of the B and slide your pinky under, that's what I do. <clears throat> and our strumming pattern goes like this. We're going to pick the low E string. So you can go pick that and then go down, up, up, down, up. So you pick down, up, up, down, up. Next you go to your B minor chord. Same strumming pattern. Pick, down, up, up, down, up. Then we're going to an A minor. So you can go with your index finger on the first fret of the B, middle finger on the second fret of the D, ring finger right under on the second fret of the G. Same strumming pattern, so pick, down, up, up, down, up, <clears throat> and then we're going to a D chord. So your index is on the 2nd fret of the G, middle finger on the 2nd fret of the high E, ring finger on the 3rd fret of the D, and we're picking that D string now instead of the A. Same strumming pattern. Okay, so stringing all this together, I'm going to go nice and slow here. G, B minor, A minor, and D. And that's all there is to it. So in this tutorial, I've taught you the chorus and the verse. <coughs> I went through that pretty quickly. So if you have questions, 
go ahead and comment below. If you would like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.